Hey guys, we're going to look today at how you use and uh, set up the login and or sign up features within the apps. Uh, find your app in your uh, app list and uh, click the create app section. And then jump into the build app tab up here and your advanced settings. So you've got two options in the sign up area here, sign up screen, either use the sign up or the login. The login just means you um, uh, enter an email address and any password, and that will get you into the app that creates the user's account for you. The sign up uh, screen um, selection means you're able to ask different questions like first name, last name, phone number, address, uh, whatever, birthday, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's up to you how many, how many uh, fields of questions you, uh, you want to ask. So um, this one's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to uh, take a demo on how to uh, configure the sign up screen. Once you've done that, make sure you come down here and hit the update button and close that and go back into your app list and then hit the login button over here. This brings you inside of the, uh, the, uh, the apps dashboard. Okay. And come down to settings and come over here to login settings. Okay. So this is what you see. Um, you're able to customize the colors, um, the labels, um, the text you know for registration you can call it sign up or register or create a new account whatever you want all the stuff is manageable um, you have to have the guest access link here as well um, here you're able to enable or disable social login which means facebook uh, as well as the apple button if you're if you're uh, for your apps for the uh, ios uh, devices okay you're able to select that here um, so these are uh, where you manage these things. Make sure you, um, when you finished updating these <coughs> fields, you hit the submit button to save it. Uh, now you come on over here to, at the top, your sign up settings. Okay. Again, you're able to configure the color scheme the way you want it. Um, the but button at the red, at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to show you this, how it looks on the, uh, the apps as well. And down here, as you scroll down, you'll see all the different fields you've got the ability to, to request information on. Uh, all you're doing is checking the box here to include it or not include it. Uh, over here, you can um, check these boxes as well if you want to make these fields mandatory, uh, which means the user won't be able to go any further unless they fill these fields out. Okay, so in this example, we've got first name, last name, uh, email, which is you can't you can't uncheck the email. Um, it is absolutely mandatory. That's the unique identifier we use in the platform. <clears throat> Phone number, password, confirm password. And then you've got other fields if you want gender, address, country, province. Uh, you can change all the labels here uh, to say whatever you want. Uh, birthday, refer code, images, all that kind of stuff. Um, and make sure once you've selected them on the uh, left-hand side, you are able to display them in a position uh, in, in an order sequence of your choice. So you can see in the, on the right-hand um, right side, the field here, display position, I've got it num uh, numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the fields that were... Uh, asking for in our app, uh, and that's it. And hit submit, and you're done here. <clears throat> the other thing we've got is the profile fields. So these are the fields that will show up in the profile of the uh, of the app uh, in the settings area. Okay. So uh, again, we've got first name, last name, all the same uh, fields that we had in the in the sign up screen, but we've also added um, an image here and birthday field uh, as well, as well as the address field. So these were added because um, we wanted to give the users the ability to, you know, complete their profile after rather than having them uh, fill these fields out on sign up. Because again, obviously, the more information you ask, the longer it takes uh, for someone to sign up to the app. Okay, so those are additional fields that will show up inside of the app. Now let's take a look at what it looks like inside the app. All right, here we are inside of the app that we were just configuring, and you can see um, all of the uh, fields that we've uh, configured. So we've got the email, the password. Um, this is for, uh, uh, in this situation, would be for returning users. Okay, um, we've got the Facebook login, the Apple login. Uh, we click the sign up button link at the bottom here, and this is these are the fields that we get. Okay, first name, last name, email, phone number, password, and confirm password, and then sign up. Um, again, all this stuff is manageable. Let's just make one change so you guys see how that looks. Uh, so we're going to go to the sign up settings here, and instead of sign up, we'll put create account. Create account and come down here and submit. And then I will hard close this on my phone and reopen it. And come back to sign up. And now you see it says create account, uh, which is um, 
again, it's manageable. So it's pretty flexible in the way that you can set things up. It's um, uh, <clears throat> exactly the way um, that you would anticipate it to be. If you guys have any questions or feedback, please let us know. Thanks for watching.